everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time oh golly I'm, I've gone way over time terrible 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 this might be a little bit longer video I'm sorry but I feel like she needs a little bit of something a little bit of I'm thinking something soft I'm thinking tulle in my head is what I'm thinking but I don't have any but That's what I'm thinking. So I have this sheer. Do I want to? Hmm. Okay, so this has just given me a new idea, which I'm really, really loving. Um I just need to work out how I'm going to make it work. I need to I need to move some things. This wasn't planned, guys. This part was not planned. And <laughs> I always do this to myself. So I might actually get a different just a smaller cutting mat. This is an extra long piece, so now so I just have my fabric cooler and my larger rotary trying to give myself a slightly straight edge I'm just thinking this fabric is, I need to cover that. This fabric is, um, it frays, as you can see, quite easily. So I do have some fabric stop I might pop on there. So, and five eighths wide. If I make it four and, I might go four and a half. Should be four and a half square. Huh. And I don't actually know how this cutting board works, so I need to check it on here with this because this is easier for me. And I'm kind of in a hurry before I. run out of videoing time I have gone quite a ways over and I'm the wrong way around not quite through So I'm really just taking that edge off. About there, I'm thinking. Fabulous. Okay. So I'm going to fray this just a little bit. 
if I can. Is anybody seeing ballerina yet? Okay, and I Okay, so oh golly, I am going over time. Okay, so I just have some phrase stop up. I picked it up, it's a Helmer brand, and I picked it up at my local Spotlight. It was on sale when I purchased it. I think I only paid like $5 for it. I did, I only paid $5 for it. Um, I'm not sure what it retails for, but I have used it on occasion, and I do find it handy, especially for things like this. So I'm just going to, I think what I usually do is just does have a little bit of a smell to it I know this fabric frays really 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 easily and quite severely so I'm just hoping to avoid that. Okay, so I have done that on the underside of the fabric. Like I said, that fabric stopper does have a little bit of a smell to it. So make sure you have good ventilation where you are. Okay, and so I'm just going to set that aside to dry and I'm going to get, Bethany, where did you go? Okay, so I just, <laughs> I need to work out, I just need to wipe my fingers, sorry. Okay. Still tacky. So I'm thinking about there. And what I might do I'm thinking I will pop a pencil mark around the corners and then I can erase them when I have her down so, hoping this doesn't seep everywhere like it did the other day. And I'm going to...
So essentially I'm going to pop this down as a pocket. I'm not sure I explained that to you, sorry. So just around three sides, as you see. And then I'm going to line up with my pencil marks for placement and hoping Miss Bethany is very happy in her new home. A little bit of seepage there. Just going to And I'm basically giving Bethany a really good press. <laughs> I was going to say burnishing, but that doesn't really sound right either. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so she's peeping through the window. And then... Ironic, I would say that, given I'm going to put some fabric over the top. I'm just checking. Pretty sure that's dry now. So, how to attach? I thought about sewing it, but because I'm attaching it as a pocket, I don't really want stitching on the back. I'm worried that it will um, catch on things as they're being popped in and out of the pocket. So, I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of glue, and I'm hoping that that will hold okay and not bleed through too much is what I'm thinking. So... I wasn't even sure which, or yes, which side I was going to attach it to, but I'm thinking across the top and it can flip up. Whoops. I actually love the way that that has just softened everything down. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're the best. And if I have to trim a little bit off these frayed edges, that's fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a child when I'm doing these things. Oh, that is so fun. And when you open that up, this flips up. And I'm hoping that that will still allow okay access. I'm wondering if I need a little... I perhaps should have thought of that beforehand, but... I don't know whether I can get in there now. Hmm, what to do? What to do, what to do, what to do? Initially, I wasn't planning on attaching the fabric at the top. I'm wishing I had brought that pocket down just a fraction. Um, OK, 
and I'll get that in there. What a shame that isn't just a little bit narrower. No, it doesn't fit. Okay. I'm just thinking it's going to be attached as a pocket, so I think that's still okay. Um, I mean, the, the tag won't be able to sit out too far, but there's still a little bit. Let's cut one. How far? I want something a bit wider. Is that wider? A little. Okay, so I'm just going to mark it. I don't want it any taller than that. Sorry, Bethany. I need to move you for a moment, love. Sorry. Okay. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. I've just looked at the time. Okay, so if that's sitting in there and the curtain is closed, oh my gosh, that's fine. So that's still easily pulled out. I'm happy with that. Okay, but I would suggest if you were going to do something similar, maybe scooching that journaling card, that, that little pocket, sorry, down just a fraction to allow a little bit more room initially I was going to attach my little curtain on the side here so either or it's still functional okay so just the closure and so we have our little tabs here oops so all I'm going to do is who's guessed has anybody guessed going to use my fabric glue on my trial I did just use paper but okay I'm going to give it away before the big drum roll so these are going to sit in here and I'm only gluing half on each one so and I will have to get some baking paper to sit over Bethany and her oops and just lining up our right angle with the lines on the paper and making sure that they both fold up before the glue dries. Oops.
when I did this on my tester I just used my glue stick but because and I only use paper so because my substrate to make the circles was card I've decided something a little bit stronger for the glue is probably a good idea but it is a little bit slower because it takes a little bit longer to dry okay and then my next one I'm just removing that excess perhaps if I just <laughs> I knew I'd do that I just put my finger straight in the glue Trying to give myself more definition for my line before I pop it down because I don't really want it to adhere where I don't want it to adhere and turning this around and so you're doing it in the same corner on each pocket or each tab sorry of the pocket so as I'm turning I'm constantly putting it on the right hand top pocket which means effectively each tab will have its own little circle or pie portion. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. It's like, does anybody know what three quarters is? Okay, so I'm just checking my placement and I do have excess glue on the back. So oh, look at my glue, would you? That doesn't make me happy. I can't use you when you're like that. Serves myself right for not closing it while I wasn't using it. Haha, <laughs> got you now. So I just had a visual of Pac-Man chomping the corner. <laughs> okay, enough of that. lucky last I'm just going to let that sit oops just be careful of my little curtain See, I've got some seepage on this first one that I did. And 
And it doesn't really matter because over time that wears down anyway, as far as I'm concerned. Like I, I try and take away as much of the excess as I can. Um, but that's part of having things that are handmade. You have little glue imperfections. And such. Okay, so, okay, so ready for the big reveal when this is all folded in. And then these are opened out. Remembering I've still got wet glue here. It holds it, oops, it holds it in place. Okay, and I'm going to turn that over, I think. And I kind of like that they're folding up a little bit. Um, it didn't do that in the trial that I made but I didn't have anything glued to it either so I may have to press that a little bit to get them to hopefully lay a bit flatter but oh my gosh guys like seriously so so cute I am in love and I love that you can see her let me scooch in for you I just love that she's peeping through that little window that we've created. Oh my gosh. And I also love that she's a ballerina. So I feel like that sheer fabric kind of softens her down a little bit. Um, it's as if she's standing behind the window looking at us. And then to open up your journaling card, just folding them in. And I do need to be careful because I did have wet glue. And remembering that these will be attached too, so it won't slip and slide around. That was actually hanging on. I think that was the last corner I did. So we have little journaling space around her. They can journal around here if they want to. And then we'll create a little... Whoops, I'm crooked and I'm not even in camera. Sorry. Um... They can journal around the outside, around the outside of the pocket if they wanted to. And we will have a journaling card on the inside of that little pocket. So, and of course, there's also journaling space here if they want to write on that. Okay. And again, if you wanted to, you could create this and use it as a journaling card as opposed to a pocket. So, it could just be... A journaling card like that that sits in a pocket if you you could do it that size you could make it smaller I mean lots of possibilities lots and lots of possibilities okay everybody so I hope you enjoyed this I really did and I'm sorry it did take a little bit longer than anticipated um, but I did kind of need to show you the antique papery new limited edition sets that I purchased too before I created this because I knew I wanted to use one of their amazing new little digitals from their limited edition set. So I hope you enjoyed this. I've certainly had lots of fun and I look forward to seeing you next time, everybody. Happy crafting and bye for now.